Now, U.S. President Joe Biden is in Vietnam and in a presser, Biden said that his administration does not want to contain China while adding that they have an opportunity to make stable relations. Biden insisted the United States is not seeking to box China in, but rather the United States wants to establish clear ground rules for relations. This evening, the, uh, I am sincere about getting the relationship right. And one of the things that is going on now is China's beginning to change some of the rules of the game uh, in terms of trade and other issues. And so one of the things we talked about, for example, is that we're now talking about making sure that uh, no Chinese, no the Chinese government can use a Western cell phone, um, those kinds of things. And so really what this trip is about, it was less about containing China. I, I, I don't want to contain China. I just want to make sure we can have a relationship with China that is on the up and up, squared away. Everybody knows what it's all about. And one of the ways you do that is you make sure that we are talking about the same things. However, his latest visit to Vietnam is being seen as many, by many, pardon me, as a move to deter growing Chinese presence in the South China Sea. Now, earlier today, the United States and Vietnam signed a deal on semiconductor supply chains. Biden claims that the deal will e help expanding capacity in reliable partners. Biden also hailed closer ties with Vietnam. We're deepening our cooperation on critical and emerging technology particularly around building a more resilient semiconductor supply chain. We're expanding our economic partnerships, spurring even greater trade and investment between our nations. Both the leaders also held detailed talks on supplies of rare earth minerals. Now, these minerals are used in the manufacturing of high-tech devices like mobile phones and electric car batteries. Now, this visit and the deal on semiconductors and rare minerals come at a crucial time. Just last month, the Biden administration moved to restrict U.S. investment in Chinese technology in areas like semiconductors, quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Vietnam also shares U.S.'s concerns about China's surging assertiveness in the South China Sea. Similarly, it is crucial for Vietnam to upgrade its diplomatic ties with the United States. You see, till now, Vietnam has had top-level ties with Russia, India, South Korea and China. Meanwhile, ahead of Biden's visit, a New York Times report accused Vietnam of secretly arranging a meeting to buy arms from Russia, which is a violation of United States sanctions. The U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor also said and also acknowledged that Vietnam's decades-long military relationship with Russia and, however, he claimed that there is discomfort in this relationship from the Vietnamese side and now the country wants to diversify away from those partnerships. Another controversy takes the Biden administration a step back to ease US-China tensions. United States ambassador to Japan reignited the topic of missing Chinese leaders. Rahm Emanuel added that the, he added the name of Defense Minister Li Shang Fu in the list of missing leaders. Former White House Chief of Staff shared his comments on X while using the hashtag mystery in Beijing building Emmanuel commented about recent absences of top Chinese ministers from public eye. He also mentioned about China's missing head of rocket force. Experts predict the latest comments by Emmanuel risks US's efforts to ease the tensions with China. The visit also comes after reports suggested that U.S. military is in talks to develop a civilian port in the remote northmost island of the Philippines. Now, this new development may affect U.S.-China relations as the proposed port lies less than 200 kilometers away from Taiwan. A central point of tension between U.S. and China. And meanwhile, Philippines successfully completed their resupply mission for its troops the troops were stationed at a grounded warship in the South China Sea. And while doing so, they encountered Chinese patrol vessels along the way. Visuals show how the Chinese Coast Guard and its militia vessels tried to chase and block the Philippine contingent. 